watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. It's the end of October and our next hunters up are named Kevin and Todd. Now they're from back east and this is the first time to come to Texas and so we're really excited to be able to have them down here. The only thing is their trips have been cut short. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us to make sure they get their deer before they have to head back home. My name's Todd, I'm from North Carolina. It's my first year hunting white-tailed deer. So I'm super excited to be in here at Texas Hidden Spring Ranch. My name's Kevin, I'm from Powhatan, Virginia. Uh, down with a buddy of mine, Todd. Uh, first time for both of us at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, and we're looking for a couple big bucks. You know, I've killed a, a fair amount of uh, bucks in my time, but uh, my buddy Todd, this is his first time whitetail hunting. I'm really, really excited for him, and honestly, I'm pretty excited for myself as well. This is a, this is my first year hunting deer. I grew up hunting quail and doves, and never had the opportunity to hunt deer, but I'm super excited to be out here. So I just wasn't sure what to expect, but this is a, this is really an awesome place to be. So most of the hunters that come out here wind up bringing their own rifles, but in this case, because Kevin and Todd flew from back east over here and they're gonna have a quick turnaround, they wanted to borrow a couple of mine. So just like anybody else, even though I know these rifles are zeroed in perfectly, we headed back to the range just to make sure that they were comfortable with them. So we got here and uh, we did not bring our own rifles. We're borrowing guns from Keith. So we're gonna run out and make sure we're on target and comfortable and uh, then we're gonna head out and see what we can do. Take your time. You see where you hit? Just like it's in the X. Well then what are we doing? <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Next, okay, let's get the 308 and out. Open her up. Let's load her back up in the buggy. We'll drive down there. I'm sure that's on. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Just got in the stand. Got the gun sighted in earlier. We're locked in, ready to go. A little breezy. Hopefully the wind will lay down a little bit. Kind of cool. So hopefully we'll get a nice buck to walk in. So it's the first night, I'm in a shadow hunter blind in the middle of this beautiful field, and it didn't take long and deer started showing up. So we got plenty of does in the field, and then we get some good bucks that show up, a little bit young, not quite what we wanted. Then to the right, in comes a more mature buck. Again, very pretty deer, but really not quite what we were looking for. You know, we're here, I'm, I'm here to hunt a trophy and, and uh, something with something that's big and, and honestly something a little unique. So we're looking at all these nice deer and uh, the bucks, you can tell the rut's starting to come in. They're, they're tussling a little bit, they're rubbing their antlers together. Um, and then, in from the left, in walks the big boy. So this deer was, he was hard to judge. Um, his head stayed down. We could tell one side was a, was a little different than the other, really couldn't get a good look at him. And then finally, after we watched him for several minutes, he lifts his head. Oh yeah, 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 that's a shooter. That's a shooter. I'm gonna take him. All right, I'm on him. I'm on him, are you ready? He's going left, going left, going left. He's going down right there in those bushes. He's going down, we got him. <sighs> now I start shaking <laughs> when it's over. Um, it's getting kind of dark, so I think we saw him go down right here. So we're gonna try to get out here and get our hands on him, see what this thing looks like. I put a good shot on him. Um, you could tell right away, he only went about 40, 50 yards and he piled up in the bushes right in front of us. You know, we really weren't sure exactly what to expect walking up on him. Kind of lopsided on one side, but a lot of mass. See what he looks like. But we get there and we look at him and he's actually better than what we thought he was. 
take a look at this buck. Kind of a unique rack, a lot of character. Interested to see what he looks like. Pretty cool deer. Um, beautiful, beautiful afternoon to hunt. Nice and cool out. Um, saw several pretty good bucks. Um, we like this one the best. And uh, was able to put a shot on him and get it done. Good time, we saw, I don't know, probably 20, 30 deer this afternoon. So a lot of, a lot of deer moving around and uh, we got lucky to, to get a pretty good one here. Real excited about them. Uh, can't wait to get them back to the camp, get them weighed, check them out, measure them, and uh, get them home. 150 pounds. 150. Look how long that is. I know, look at that. Something else, man. He's just different. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was neat. So Todd's on deck, at least he's on deck with me, and uh, Todd's never big game hunted before. And so I'm thinking, hmm, wonder what kind of deer he's looking for, because we got big ones out here, and I just want to make sure that we spoil him just right. We go out in the morning, it's it's dark, I got Keith behind me. It's kind of hard to see, but we look like we have some deer coming in, but it's tar too dark to tell what they are right now. So as this buck walks out, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm trying to look at him, see who is he? Oh, that's right. We got him on the Reconyx. And we call him Left Gone Wild, because when you take a look at him, his right side's real pretty. His left side, gone wild. We see this deer, but he's, he's back behind a tree limb. Can't really get a good angle on him, so we have to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally walks out good enough where I can get a good angle on him. I'm sitting here waiting and he turns broadside. Uh, the camera's ready, the camera's on him, I'm ready. I finally have a good shot. Good shot. Yeah. That was perfect. Mm. For your first deer, that's not gonna be a bad deer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him long enough, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's good. When he came in this morning in the black dark, I said, that's a big body deer. I can't wait to get our hands on him now. Right. Let's just give him just a little bit of time, and then we'll go up there and see what we got. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Keith. Awesome. Thank you, guys. That's a nice deer. So we're walking up, and uh, I just didn't know what to expect, but uh, they kept calling him Left Going Wild, so I kind of got an idea what they were talking about when you could see the difference in the rack. Uh, one rack was just perfect, but one of them was just a little bit different. Wow, look at that rack on <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Look at there. What a beautiful deer. I saw this side right here and how, how clean it was, but look at that side right there. That is a very unusual. I never saw this little extra point here, but what a pretty animal and a perfect shot on him too. So let me ask you something. Did you get buck fever? Oh, man, yes. Did you? <laughs> what was the worst part, waiting? The waiting part, yes. <laughs> okay, so what happened? This deer came in. I mean, it was still pretty doggone early. When he came in, so I looked at him and I said, Todd, that's a, that's a big body there we just couldn't see his antlers real good and then all of a sudden he he stayed behind a tree and stayed behind a tree and he yeah. wouldn't give us a shot and finally when he turned and came out I was like hmm <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get the gun out the window and smoke him and you did a good job so what do you think about your first deer this is uh, ruined me this is awesome <laughs> I'll never be able to shoot one smaller than this that's for sure <laughs> yeah you are you're officially ruined that's what we like to do with people that come out here we like to officially ruin them I mean the deal about it is our deer I mean we don't we don't pressure them a lot and we've got a lot of deer. Todd, I appreciate you coming though. All right, thank you. Thank you very, very much. We're gonna take this guy up to the house. We're gonna get him taken care of him. We're gonna eat some breakfast, what do you say? All right, sounds All good. Right. Thank you. Good job. What a pretty deer. Uh, hunting with Keith was just just awesome experience. He's out here helping you, guiding you. Really good experience. The the fellowship with Keith, you know, eating, having a meal, uh, sighting in the guns, then finally getting in the blind and doing a little hunting. Uh, just a great experience. 
Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. All right, let me talk to you about cleaning air guns. Air guns do need to be cleaned, but it's a completely different critter than a centerfire rifle. And the reason why is because air guns do not have any powder residue in their barrels at all. Now, what we're going to do on an air gun, we want to clean the outside of the air gun. I'll talk to you about the reason why you don't clean the barrel of the inside of an air gun very often at all. The reason why is because there is no powder residue unless you have pellets that shoot over 900 feet per second. That's important to keep in mind. Pellets also have antioxidants on them. And so when you shoot them out of your air gun, they will leave a little bit of antioxidant residue in them. The big deal about cleaning an air gun, at least the barrel, if you clean the barrel of an air gun, be extremely careful. Don't ever clean a brass barrel of an air rifle, but if it's a steel barrel, be extremely careful. And the reason why is because if you mess up the barrel, your accuracy is gone for good. The only time you want to clean an air gun is when you lose accuracy. So I hope some of these tips have helped you. This next hunt is a special one. My friend Therese is coming down from Missouri for her very first Texas whitetail hunt. And I get to guide her and it's really special for me because I don't get to hunt with a lot of women usually. So I'm guiding, hunting with one of my girlfriends and it's gonna be a lot of fun. My name is Teresa and I'm from Nevada, Missouri. And this is my first time at Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. I grew up hunting my whole life but never had a chance to really get a big buck and I'm excited to be able to do that. This is going to be a fun hunt because Teresa has never been to Texas and hunted before so I can promise you she's fixing to see a whole lot of deer. Now on this hunt Maddie is going to be taking Teresa out and the special thing about this hunt is actually Maddie's 23rd birthday. This hunt is special for me because I'm here with Maddie and she's taking me out hunting and it's her birthday, her 23rd birthday, so it even makes it even better. The weather, well this is what happens in Texas at the beginning of the winter. I mean the wind comes in, the rain comes in, it starts getting cold and I mean right now the weather kind of sucks. We are hunting on a ranch that's covered up in deer, so naturally you'd expect it to be an easy hunt, and it has not been. We've hunted for four days so far. There's a lot of deer activity, so it makes it really hard to get a clear shot. We're hunting in thick country, so that makes it hard as well. And the deer are spooking really easy because of the wind. Here we are out here at Keith Warren's place. It's been nasty, nasty weather. Rainy, cold, windy. The rain's let up, so I'm hoping we'll have some guys come in. I'm excited. It's a buck. It's a buck. My heart is racing like super fast. It's definitely skipping beats. I gotta slow down or I'm gonna end up puking. <laughs> Straggling. You see him? Oh my god! <laughs> we did it! Buck down! Buck is down! It's been four days of hunting. Four days. The odds were against us with all the rain, the first cold front coming in. And so finally, 
day four in the morning. Got it. I can't wait to see him. The 6.5 Grindel PMP heel gun worked great. I'm so excited. I know, me too. We're uh -huh. gonna give him a couple minutes and then we'll go see him. Right up here is where you shot him, right? Yes, right here, right in front of this dead tree. Okay. Oh! Do you see him? Play I spy. <laughs> oh my God, there he is. Let's go see him. <laughs> wow. Look how big he is. Look at that rack. Here, you want me to hold your gun for you? Yeah. Get down and get your hands on him. Look at that. Wow. I love it. How many points does he have? Eight, nine. I guess we count that one. Oh yeah, you can put a ring on it. 11, account. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 points. Wow. We did it. And that was a great shot with him quartering like that. This is a really good buck to take. Yeah. I'm glad I got to experience this with I you. I am too. Big time. Here we are. Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. Keith Warren, Maddie Warren. <laughs> the place to be. I've had a great time here. It's been a challenge with them trying to find the right buck and we finally did and I'm extremely happy with him. He's beautiful. Now it's time to go and celebrate. Now it's my birthday and I'm not a very big birthday person but I can't think of a better place to spend your birthday than out at the ranch hunting with good friends and they treated me to my favorite meal. I got some pizza and wings and I even got some cool presents. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maddie. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Thank you. Woo! 23 years. What an old person. I've already got gray hair. Started what? at 19. I've pulled three. When? They'll keep growing. Like over Stop. the last couple of years. Okay. Okay, you pull Whatever. three gray hairs? Yeah. Want to pull some more? <laughs> <laughs> Start eating. Maddie, you have a gourmet Thank you all. Go, girl.